Hey guys, this is an explanation of how to use a set of vernier calipers to measure, um, to measure something. So let's say we're going to measure the diameter of this expo marker. We take the calipers, um, it has a lock on the top, so loosen that a little bit and a place to move around with your thumb down here. Whatever you're going to measure, put it inside of the jaws, not up here where the indentation is, but rather down here on this part of the jaw somewhere. There, but not up there. And then close the jaws snugly, but not too tight around what you're gonna measure. And then we can lock it with this thumb screw on top right here. And once we do, we can actually take out what we're measuring and it's locked in place and it's sometimes easier to read the, the measurement that way. Once we've locked the jaws, um, and taking out what we're, what we're measuring. Um, the first thing to, to know is that there's two scales on these calipers. The top scale is in inches, the bottom is in centimeters. We will always use the bottom scale in centimeters. The next thing is that read properly, you will take that measurement to three places past the decimal when you're measuring it in centimeters, as we are. So the expo marker that we just measured what we do is we come down to the bottom scale here and find the zero right here. That's the first thing we find and see what, where it is on the scale that's right above it. So this is in centimeters, zero, one, two. So this line above the zero is between one and two centimeters. Next we go down a little bit farther and say, okay, each of these small lines is 0.1 centimeters. So 1.1, 1 .1, 2, 1.1, 1 .1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So the line is between 1.7 and 1.8 centimeters. So now we have one place past the decimal. The next thing we do is, remember, it's 1.7 something something. To get the last two digits, what we do is we go down to this scale here, and all we're looking for is the one line here that best lines up with some line right above it. So for instance, if we see the, like the two here, it doesn't really line up very well with any, any of these lines above it. But as we go over, we get to the five, it starts getting closer. And then I'd probably say that, and each of these small lines, by the way, is 0 .002 uh, centimeters. So 1.75246, and so on. So to me, this one probably lines up the best. You can be, you have to be kind of picky, but find the best one. So this line here is 1.75246 centimeters. So this measurement would be 1.756 centimeters. And that's all there is to it.